Less than two weeks to go before Election Day, and the candidates not leading the polls are facing a choice. Unite their campaigns or try to power through till the end. Well, so far, they've all rejected the idea of a merger, but can they hold out? Here's our Shin Se-min from the campaign trail. A picture-perfect day to be out here in Seoul. And that's exactly what conservative splinter Biden Party's Yu Sung min did, joining early morning joggers in the capital. A warm smile, but a strong grip. The candidate with a single-digit approval rating showed his determination to finish the race until the very end, despite continuous proposals by his own party members to quit the race and form a joint candidacy with two other contenders. Patent Party had pitched a three-way alliance with Hong Junpyo of the right-wing Liberty Korea Party and An Chersu of the Centrist People's Party early this week, in what observers view as collective efforts to curb the rise of the leading candidate Moon Jae-in of the left-leaning Democratic Party of Korea. That pitch, though, was not only rejected by the party's own nominee, Yu, but by the other two parties as well. The prospects for such an alliance grabbed the attention of the nation when Moon asked the other four contenders in the top five about the matter during a televised debate on Tuesday. The responses were relatively concise and consistent. Hong, in a straightforward tone, stood against the idea, saying that he has no intent of merging with other candidates. Ahn said that there won't be such coalition among candidates until the election is over, a statement he has repeated he claimed more than 100 times. And Yu reassured once and for all that he's in it to finish the race. In other words, the idea of a joint candidacy, which stemmed from a party without the consent of its own candidate and which could have turned the tide in this election, was very short-lived. And for the time being, the Biden Party's runner is on his feet, meeting the young and old, workers and the retiree, as he looks to gain more support so he could eventually win the presidential office. A big question mark still hangs over the campaign trail. Will the first five names of the ballot be the ones that we're more familiar with, or will there be less than that, with some giving up the race and having endorsed another? Whatever the decision may be, the presidential candidates and the campaigns will have to make up their minds before the nation's election watchdog begins printing the ballot this weekend for the May 9th presidential election. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.